Hey guys, Luke here, welcome back to episode 2 of the Warriors Creep Mode. I nearly said we might take one, but let's get on to it. Uh, so this is going to be the first few games of the NRL season. Obviously, last episode did the preseason. We didn't play any of the like, proper preseason games, but we did play the World Club Challenge, which we won. But you go back and have a look at that. You can see all the players that we signed and that sort of stuff. Uh, looking at the Cowboys side, uh, as we go through all these sort of sides, we're going to have to try and pick up who signed where. But it looks like Watmo has signed with the Cowboys. For us, sort of... Uh, this is as usual in terms of team lineup, except for Mara at hooker and uh, Peru in the center position for uh, what's his name for um, Dane Nielsen, who's very good in this game. Uh, so Vadavai is going to run it back from the kickoff, and he pumped off one. And I do have to say, the bookies are tipping these two as the premiership favourites, uh, particularly us. Obviously, we're already back-to-back -back premiers. Um, you know, we did what most teams can't um, already. So. I mean, is three too much? I'm not really sure. Uh, but we have started off pretty well here. Mara uh, is going to take a quick little run there. Uh, sort of setting off uh, where Nathan Friend finished. And Thurston comes up with an incredible tackle there on Mentoring. Going to get it out to Billy Tupo, who I've been talking about last episode, how good he is. And uh, that's where that play sort of ended. Um, a little bit short there. But Billy Tupo is going to make up for it the next time he got the ball there. And he ends up scoring. So 4-0 it is, and then Johnson from the sideline to make the conversion. He does, and it's 6-0 after 32 minutes there. And I was sort of just easing into this game. Um, I didn't want to rush out and throw else the intercepts and that sort of stuff. I think that's the worst thing you can do. Get a little bit too comfortable in this game and um, just start going for too much when it's not on, which is what happens to me. In particular, when I have a little bit of breaks and... Like, I go from not playing at all to playing a whole bunch of games at one time, and eventually you're going to get better, but there also gets a point where you sort of get too uh, overconfident, I have to say. So I was sort of a little bit wary of that, especially the first game of the season. Uh, obviously, we've got a long way to go, but I want to go the whole season without losing, so uh, it was very important that we get off to a great start. Uh, Mentoring piece off an intercept there. It so easily could have been a try had, you know, we got that fractionally wrong, but thankfully Mentoring uh, ends up on the end of it, and 10 nil it is to turn into 12, you would think. Uh, so let's have a look at it. Sean Johnson, can he slot it? Yes, he can, straight over. Uh, if we start missing those sort of ones, I think I'll just stop YouTube. There's no point in playing because I'm just terrible. Now, Mentoring on the ball here just draws and passes. Mossy Masoy, who we have signed, uh, signed. I can't remember if I talked to him before, but there is multiple Mossy Masoy's. And at, at this stage in the career mode, there's going to be multiple people. It's just one of those things uh, where when they made this game, they didn't really think about that too much. Uh, so that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, Mossy Masoy, great player. We did sign like the proper one from Penrith. So I think that's uh, a good thing. So we got the better Mossy Masoy. And uh, if you're a fan of the South of Tears, you'd see just how damaging he can be. Uh, the only problem is trying to work out the bench. We've got Lilyman, um, we've got the Rapiers. At this stage, Masoy fits in there. But, you know, it, depending on form, we're going to have to drop someone. Lilyman is a Queensland uh, representative on this game, at least. Uh, he always seems to get picked. Um, did get another try there in the meantime, which I didn't mention. But Johnson slots the conversion in 18 nil, I believe, is how it finishes. Um, and we'll, we'll take that for sure. Definitely a great win. Uh, Josh Hoffman, man of the match. It's hard to argue with these man of the matches uh, just based off the highlights. But yeah, Hoffman, very solid player for us. And considering possibly for next season. And not that there probably will be a next season because hopefully the new uh, game will be out by the time this is finished. But um, we'd love to see if we can sort of shift Hoffman into a center spot or something maybe. I'm not really sure where to work it. But I feel like... Um, I'm not maximizing the fullback position after playing with Sam Tompkins and that sort of stuff uh, with myself at one and then coming back to playing uh, with the Warriors here. Uh, I just feel, yeah, I could just use someone with a little bit more well-rounded than Hoffman. Not that he's Hoffman's a bad player, but yeah, I'm sort of trying to make a little bit of conversation in this video. Uh, Mateo, it's a great run there by Vatavai to set this up. Peru, he's going to have a great little run here. Sandown not going to be able to catch him and Peru's going to go and score there. Um, and he, he's doing the job for us and... Um, although Nielsen is a great player for us, and that uh, we have got an adequate replacement. I think Peru, pretty solid player in this game, at least for us. So I'm um, pretty happy with that depth for this stage. Only in round two, probably will be tested by the end of the season. And in terms of that, the thing where you can buy all the upgrades and that sort of stuff for all your coaches and all that sort of stuff, I didn't put too much into the fitness aspect. So, well, actually, maybe I did. I can't remember. But yeah, fitness always um, something that you got to deal with at the end of the season, and it's very hard to deal with. I was talking about Perry being pretty good. Uh, probably should have scored there. And now one thing, I wanted to throw a huge cutout pass, and thankfully it paid off. But when I threw it, didn't notice that there was actually a winger out there. I thought it was just Vatavai, all that there by himself, through the pass. And immediately, um, when I got that, I was like, shit, intercept, shit, 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 shit. 
and I was trying to like turn around or whatever, but then end up getting it, and I was like, oh, do I score? Cause it looks shit in video, and then I decided to score anyways. Basically, when I'm making like recording, to, uh, play videos, which is pretty much what I've done the whole time Rope League Live, to have played to record really, rather than just play for fun. Um, well, I've always had the intentions of like playing for fun and then putting it up with the video, but I don't want to go and score shitty tries like. I don't want to try, like, I hate trying to, like, score off intercepts and that sort of stuff, because, really, I could score off intercepts all day. Sometimes, sometimes these play, it's so easy to pinpoint, and unless I'm really desperately chasing um, chasing points or something, I won't go for them. Due to the fact, because it looks kind of shitty on this game, and I prefer to have something that looks half entertaining as much as possible. Vatavai is just going to throw Morgan over the sideline, as he should. Vatavai, an absolute beast. And as you can see here, just had the numbers here. Quite a good try, in my opinion. A well worked try, and it's what I was talking about. It's not one of those tries that look so unrealistic when I'm throwing 10,000 offloads. Just using the numbers there. Now I get lots of questions saying, you know, how, how do you, how are you good at this game? Like, how can I get better? It's just pretty much just play simple. Don't try and like over, overplay it. If that sort of makes any sense. Don't, don't try and offload it every single time. Um, as you can see there, I took it up to the line with the forwards. Now. I think there's only a few teams who do that in real life, but um, if you want to do it in this game, it's pretty effective. Um, a little bit weird for me to give him tips this late on, but yeah, Vatavai scores his second try of the game, just the shoulder bar, very effective as well on those sort of players. Um, in terms of just take it, up to, take it up to the line, throw the pass, if it's on, if it's on. If you've got a player who's running in the space, like hitting a hole, that's when you want to do it. It's like real life, you don't, you don't pass it when you've got a player on them. Because on this game, it just seems to be an intercept 9 times out of 10. So, probably not going to do that. But you can see here, the player draws in um, as we threw the pass there. We get it to Tupo, who we cut inside. I was sort of hoping that we'd sort of just catch the fullback off, um, sort of flat-footed or whatever, and, you know, just go around him. Thankfully, Senna Lefeo goes and scores. Um, so, he's actually been quite a good signing for us. Uh, I like Senna Lefeo in real life. Um, I have to admit, pretty solid player. Um, as much as I don't like Manly. But yeah, I was pretty happy with his signing uh, on this game. I don't know how accurate is like his player represents him, just through the fact that I think when this uh, game came out, and all the stats are based off when he hadn't played first grade. But um, doing the job here, uh, strong tackle by Mentoring, but we're just going to hold on a little bit too long, and he's going to be held on tackle, which uh, they gave they got a uh, penalty. This is what I was talking about. You can just pinpoint where they're going to um, get the intercept, like sorry, where they're going to throw it. You just easily get an intercept. Unfortunately for us, it isn't going to work out for us this time. Madalena under the ball. Hunt gets under it. I'm not sure if that's Justin Hunt, Ben Hunt. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, Sean Johnson is going to get the closest to him. He's actually going to get to him. He's going to do the diving around the legs, which I said last episode I love to do. Fortunately, it didn't work out this time. They go and score, but 36-6, I can, I can handle that. It's not too bad. Uh, obviously, would have liked the big fat donut um, for the second game to go along with uh, round one, but... Here's what it is, we couldn't pull it off, but, you know, 36-6, that's a pretty strong performance, I have to say, and, you know, I think we're ready for this season, we're pretty fired up. Here's the other results for all the games. Bulldogs losing, which is a little bit disappointing for me, but I have to say, wait until you see their side, they've got a pretty incredible side. And, uh, good news for us, Dane Nielsen is recovered from its injury, not that Peru's been bad, but Nielsen, big part of the side. So this video is going to end, hopefully you can leave a like, 20 likes is what I'm going for. Uh, if you su subscribe to my channel, very much appreciated. I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you leave comments and that sort of stuff. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMyT is my Twitter handle. Also got a Facebook page in the description below. And uh, that's when we're going to leave the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.